prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game. That's who's going to come out of this one on top. the kicker Harrison Butker ready to get this one started and we are underway from Arrowhead here comes Khalif Raymond from his end zone and he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25 yard line now come the Lions for their first drive behind their ninth year quarterback in year number four with Detroit it's Jared Goff it's hardly an exaggeration to say that Goff has revitalized his career these last couple of years, and he is rewarded for it during the offseason, as Detroit has certainly made sure everyone knows he's their quarterback for the future. It's clear that they believe in it, and he's done nothing to sway them from that belief. They'll run for the first time with a speedster, Jameer Gibbs. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. A right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing with their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Here's Goff. Now he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where Every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. And that one too wide and incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. On fourth down, Jack Fox on to punt for Detroit. That's taken on the 25. Stays on his feet. Found good room to run there. Returns at 14 yards. And it's Chiefs football. First and 10. Well, the Chiefs offense going to make their way out. And at the helm, a now three-time Super Bowl MVP in his eighth season in the NFL, it's Patrick Mahomes. I think it's safe to say that at this point in his career, there's really nothing Mahomes hasn't accomplished by this time. Three Super Bowl rings, three Super Bowl MVPs, two league MVPs, a couple of all-pro nods, and a passing title. When you lay it all out, it doesn't even sound real, especially when you consider the fact he's not even 30 years old. Now he has a sight set on being the first quarterback to 3 P. If there's anyone who can do it, it's certainly him. The drive will begin with a run by Edwards Alaire. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. From the 44-yard line, here's second and five. Throwing now is Mahomes. That's complete. It's Travis Kelsey. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. And 11 yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. Well, that's certainly familiar. Kelsey making the catch. And pick. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. 
And that stop made by Jack Campbell. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Now a second and ten. Here's Pacheco once again. And this time he won't even make it back to the line of scrimmage as they stop him in his tracks. Two yards the loss and now third and 12. Well, that's not an easy play for a defensive end because most of his responsibility has him getting upfield and working. But how about his vision to see where the play was going, crashed down inside and tackled him for a loss. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. 46, 46, 46, Mahomes going to throw. And an off-balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. So on fourth down, Mahomes off, Harrison Butker on for the Chiefs field goal. From the left hash, it's an even 50-yard attempt. Butker's kick here is good. And the Chiefs are out to a 3-0 lead. So a pretty good opening drive. That'll make the home fans somewhat happy. They wanted six, but they got three in the early lead. And yeah, they should be happy. The guys look good getting down the field. That's got to give them a little bit of hope that good things are in store here today for them. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. Here's Khalif Raymond to return. And he returns this to the 22. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves that way. You get a second opportunity, nothing big happened, but then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. They'll start out here with a jet sweep, and he will fight his way forward to about the 23-yard line. George Karloftis, the man to bring him down. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there, all 11 guys on defense, diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. Second and nine. There's gone. He gets this out wide to Gibbs. They'll wind up getting just a yard. And third and eight now. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Here now a third down and eight. on the outside and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Jack Fox out to punt here on fourth down. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. It goes a 42, make it a 43-yard punt. Six on the return, and they will take over first and 10. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. 
They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. Looking to throw is Mahomes. He finds his man, Sky Moore. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. I tell you what, if this is any quarterback other than Patrick Mahomes, I'm telling you how this is an ill-advised throw. But 15 is so good on the move with all those different arm angles and releases that all I'm saying now is that's a gorgeous play. First and ten, here's Pacheco. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. It's the Chiefs in possession of the football as they've got it with a second and four coming up. Now a toss left for Pacheco. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. That's a really good job right there. Just kept stringing that play out, pushing him further and further towards the sideline. Really good fundamentals by that defense. He was trying to put his foot in the ground and turn up field. He just couldn't. No, they really had a picket fence in front of him. No room to find to get upfield. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. Being chased out left. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Maybe not exactly what they had in mind, but that scramble good for six and a first down. Now this is a feeling I can relate to all too well. Deflation on third and short. Excellent coverage. Took away all the short routes, but the one person who wasn't accounted for, the quarterback. And he used his legs to hot foot it for a first down. Scrimmage the 31 now on first and 10. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. That ball caught. It's Rice. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Rasheed Rice, 31 yards. And the Chiefs are able to widen their advantage. When we draw up defenses on the board, we do account for every receiver. But on that particular play, somehow he was wide open, became an easy touchdown pass. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10-zip. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it winds up with the Chiefs hitting pay dirt. Now, after. 
after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Lions offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ball game as they come up first and 10. The throw is gone. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. On first down, gone. And the Chiefs are going to get him. Tershawn Wharton never giving up. He works his way to the QB for a loss of 12. Well, we knew this guy wasn't especially fleet of foot, but he tried to conjure up some escapability, but there was no way he was getting away on that one. Huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. A shotgun snap for Goff. That throw taken in by Jamison Williams. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. Well, a tough situation to overcome here. Third and 17. Back to throw. Golf. And that will be incomplete. Well, this first half has not gone according to plan so far offensively, or even defensively for that matter. They could use a big-time spark somewhere, but it's not going to come on this drive as they have to punt this one away. Here's Jack Fox on to punt. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. And now here comes Kansas City. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And, partners, a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Mahomes hit. He lost the football. And this is scooped up by the line. And into the end zone, a scoop and score on the fumble return for the Detroit touchdown. So the defense forces the fumble. They get the score. And a guy on defense becoming offensive there, Charles. And you know they love that. Any guy on defense loves to pick up the ball and have it in his hands and try and score himself. In this case, that's exactly what happened. He'll be singing in the shower post game.
Michael Badgley on for the extra point. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10 7 now. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Kansas City's offense now set and ready to go. And let's just say they're going to be looking to start over on this drive. A few moments ago, they were in the exact situation, but their first play led to a fumble that was returned for six. Yeah, you definitely have to have a short memory to play in the NFL. you got to remember what you did wrong so you don't repeat it, but you can't dwell on it because then you will repeat it, and that's what you don't want to do. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at the 31-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And his throw is incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Here's second and 10. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And under the Lions' pressure, he's brought down. John Kaminsky collapses the pocket and drops him for a loss of three. Well, there was second long. Now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving them exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. After the sack, things get a little tougher here. Third and long for Mahomes and the Chiefs. Looking to throw. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he's going to be taken down at the 39, clearly short of the first by a few yards. On fourth down, Matt Ariza sent on to punt. Thirty-nine yards on the punt, give him just one yard on the return, and the Lions will take over. Detroit's offense ready to take over. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Goff on first down. He's airing it out for Williams. Oh, a contested ball here, and it's going to be caught. A big play there for Detroit. 54 yards. Prime example there of how his height can be an advantage. It makes it tough on some of these smaller defensive backs. When they try and go through that type of a receiver to get the football, oftentimes that big body, that frame, will block them away. And whether the receiver has to elevate or extend, now he has a clear path to the football with the defender usually on his back. So that changes things in a big way. Now from all the way down inside the 30, here's first and 10. 
Now left side, a completion to his tight end. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that'll bring up second down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. He Touchdown! Jameer Gibbs from 21 yards away. And the Lions will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. That could be an important swing right there, a touchdown in the final minute of the half to take the lead. And I like the point you just made there. Could be an important swing because now that they have the lead, if they can carry that into the locker room at the half, they'll feel really good about what they accomplished in the first two quarters. Badgley on for the extra point. And that makes it 14-10. The drive there only spanning three plays. And Jameer Gibbs finished it all off with a touchdown grab. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And this will wind up way short of the landing zone, so that's going to move the ball all the way up to the 40-yard line. The Chiefs going to go back on offense here late in this first half. And with a little under a minute remaining, we'll see if they want to try to put a drive together, possibly even take the lead here with a touchdown. First down is Mahomes. The tight end Kelsey has it over the middle. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now here's Mahomes. Now a swing pass. It's Edwards Alaire. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Good position to be in here, second and inches. Now Mahomes. Over the middle, that's caught by Rice. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 40. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Mahomes to throw once more. Well, that one caught by Rice. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Another first down as he went right back to the same well, this time for 17 yards. So what do you do if you've got a defense in cover three trying to keep everything in front of them? The answer seems obvious. Just work those routes in front of them. This is going to be a hitch route, but he's operating in plenty of space, and he makes the catch here for a first down. On 
First and ten. Here's Mahomes. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. He hit his first, this one from 40 yards out. Butker's kick here is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we have reached halftime with the visiting Lions taking the lead to the break. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. It'll be the Chiefs football to begin quarter number three, and they trail here as we are back underway now on EA Sports. And this is not going to wind up anywhere near the landing zone, so this will be blown dead, and they'll move it up to the 40. Here comes the Chiefs offensive unit as they'll have it to begin quarter number three. And they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. What's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more, but I'd establish the running game. They kind of went away from it in the first half. I think if they get back in balance, it'll help them when they put the ball back in the air. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Second half starts with a run by Edwards Alaire. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Not the kind of gain that we'll go absolutely crazy for, but it's the kind of gain that you need to have when you're running back in the NFL and Clyde Edwards Alaire with that low center of gravity and strength. He's going to get those tough, gritty yards for you when necessary. On second down, here's Mahomes. Now they go screen. It's complete. There he goes, right side. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here. So it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to KC. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 36. Mahomes on the give to Edwards Alaire. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync. And the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. Now second and five. Mahomes now to throw. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. Seven yards there and a first down. But they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Mahomes 
Throwing right, and that's complete. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and it'll be second down. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn upfield and gain any yardage. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. Here's Mahomes to throw. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Now play number seven of this drive, but it's a tough third and nine. To throw, it's Mahomes. Pass taken in by his big tight end, and he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And that could be one of those turning point plays in a ball game. A field goal gets you the lead here, but they want to make a statement and get six points. And they're certainly going to get that opportunity as they get the conversion and set up first and goal. They'll run here with Pacheco. And he gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. Second and goal from inside the five. They go play action. Now Mahomes. And it's caught. That time the completion goes for four yards, and we're set up with a third and goal. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism. Great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. The ball mere inches from the white line on third and goal. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And Brown's got it. Touchdown, Kansas City. A one-yard touchdown pass. And the Chiefs have retaken a third-quarter lead. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? the timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. Mahomes will throw for it. Eluding the pressure right. And he will find the end zone here. And the lead moves up to seven. And with a successful two-point try, the QB rolling out, I would imagine, on the defense, that makes it tough. When you, he goes out, he's got the option to run or pass. Yeah, it really does. If you decide not to bring extra people or extra pressure, maybe you have to have a spy on the quarterback, someone to account for him, because oftentimes, that is the unaccounted for player. Touchdown, here's Bucker on to kick it away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So we get a look at the Lions offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. Go 
off in this Lions offense. Set for a first and 10 at their own 26. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Finds Gibbs on a check down. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. So eight yards on the completion there, and they'll be left with second and a couple. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. On second down, here's Gibbs. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. He'll get a dozen there, and the Lions have a first down. That was good, tough running right up the middle, and if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. Back-to-back -to -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Out of the gun, gone. That's into the hands of Khalif Raymond. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. It's a pickup of 12. Second play in a row with a 12-yard gain. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. Straight ahead with Gibbs here. Down inside the 40. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. To throw on second down is gone. And that one going to come up short, low throw. I think they need to make sure they get together on that route because that's a curl, all right? Timing is everything. That receiver anticipating turning around, having the ball already halfway there, threw it short. If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. Gone. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 11 yards for number 11. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Up the middle, it's Montgomery to about the 26 here. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held them to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Second down and eight. Here's Gaw. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And it'll leave him with third and a full yard to go. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Ninth play coming up here on this drive. This is third and a yard. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. I like this focus there because he wasn't thinking about breaking that one big. All he thought about was, I need one. Let's go get that. Ended up picking up two.
So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. From the gun, Gibbs will get it. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Here's a second and eight. Going up the gut, Montgomery. And able to surge forward for about five yards down to the 10. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. As big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. Goff now to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And the Lions are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven, but first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. And he's going to be dropped back at the 15-yard line. Like a freight train there, Derek Nottie with a sack. That I'm struggling to understand a little bit. That close to the goal line, first down, run the football. If you want to throw it, throw some play action on second down. down a bit of a disaster and now on second and goal back even further they'll try the middle with Montgomery and he'll get it here to the 10 yard line partner I know we're in a goal to go situation but my goodness think about running the ball here not even a thought yeah, is it defensively they're in a prime spot and I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well I wouldn't run it here guys you might want to try throwing it fourth quarter down to the final two minutes and we've got a one score game so the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back they face a critical third and goal now in a one score game now it's golf got his tight end that's complete it's right well, they were successful in one sense. They completed the pass, but still leads them to a tough fourth down situation, doesn't it? It does, and the deficit more than three here at a one-score game. So the field goal, not their ideal situation. Here we go. The noise deafening. Fourth and goal. They go ahead and snap it. Gone. Catch it, but he's out of bounds. And the throw took it beyond the sideline, and that's going to be a turnover on downs. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. It doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. And I believe the referee's been buzzed. Yeah, they want to take another look at this call, and it's certainly a big one here late in a tight game. 
Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the folks in New York just going to wind up confirming what the official saw as this play will stand as is. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see them take all three timeouts defensively so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They'll come up now, third and three. Edwards Alaire, they'll try to run for it. And he will have a Chiefs first down. And that's the one that should seal the victory. Victory in the cards now for the Chiefs as they take a knee here. A run by Pacheco on second down. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who, who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around a training facility for an entire week. Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying <laughs> it around campus, right? Maybe the old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. Well, that second half, Charles, a little bit different from the first. Not only did we have the lead change after intermission, but they were able to pitch the shutout in the second half and get an impressive victory. And what's the old expression? That's not quite how I saw it playing out in my head. You know they didn't expect this at all. As you mentioned, went into the half with the lead. Losing the game is one thing. Getting shut out in the second half, that's a surprise. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. The Chiefs victorious here as we say so long from Arrowhead.